Hi, it's Alexander speaking. How are you? Hope you're having a great day. Okay, so today we what we're going to do is um, we're going to um, uh, discuss how to wrap the text around the video inside your blog. So the idea is that instead of being the bottom all the time, it'll be like up the top, and then as it kind of comes down to the bottom of the video, it will then appear at the bottom as normal. So this is our uh, post, okay. And you see here, it's always wrapped down here. And no matter what you do, um, it just won't, the text just won't come up. See, it's just, uh, and if I, if I try and do the back button, it'll delete this. Okay, it'll, it'll delete it and so on. So um, sometimes you can get it up here, but then when you save it, it then goes back underneath again, the text. So it's, Okay. So what you have to do is uh, implement uh, implement some HTML code, a uh, particular style sheet that will force the text to float to the left or the right of the video. So you've got two tabs up here, if you're not familiar with this. So there's the visual, that's what we're seeing now, and then the text or HTML that will show us the code behind. And, um, and this is my uh, embedded code for the um, the, the, the YouTube video, okay. So if we just, um, let's just do this, let's just update this for a moment, and then we're going to view it. Okay, so you see here it's always down at the bottom, okay, of the text. So we're gonna put it right up here, and as it comes down here, and it'll then stretch out across, so it's a little neat and so on. So what we're gonna do is first, just to do this, to make it, just to make it easier to read. Up down there. And I will provide the code for this, so um, you can just copy and paste it. So I just did that to just easier to read. So this here is our YouTube uh, embedded code, okay? And then here we've got the div. Just wrapping around that code. And there's a closing tag for the div. And um, so a div is just basically a container, imagine it like, like, like a container, and then there's um, items inside that container, and then we're formatting that div, that container, in a certain way. Okay, so um, so here we have a float left, which is just, just, just saying it's floating to the left or the right. The actual video will float to the left or the right of the text, in this case, float to the left. So that means the text will be on the right, and then you got the margin. So just imagine it's, it's basically some padding. So zero for the top, which makes sense. Uh, right is 15 pixels, five pixels for the bottom, and then zero for the left margin of the um, of the video. Okay. So we're just going to save that, update it, and see what happens. There we are. That's it. So now it's right up here. So now we just need to um, sort out the formatting. Okay, so basically you want this. Okay, this piece of, of code in the in your HTML, and this is your uh, you will already got this from your um, uh, from the embedded code in YouTube for your video. So you wrap your div around that embedded code. And this is the last piece of line you need to close the div. Okay, so we're floating, we're saying float the video to the left, to the left of the text, and then the margins for the top is zero, uh, 10 pixels to the right, so there's some spacing, and then one pixel for underneath, and then zero on the left. Okay. There you go. So you can have, uh, so it, it looks nice and neat, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And then, uh, and then it comes and it start, starts again underneath like that. So you can do that if you want, or you can do just have the whole um, video across the whole top of the post or whatever. But if you want to wrap around the text, then that's what you do. So this here is your existing embedded code coming from YouTube, alright? So you just leave that the way it is. 
and you just add this at the front of it and then close the div at the end, put that at the end of it, okay, and then you're good to go, you know, and then it's just a case of modifying these things. So um, if it's on the, so if we're having text on the, on the left, on the right, sorry, right of the video, then what we're looking at here, this one here is the top of the video, that of the video we're looking at the top, the top margin, the right margin, the, uh, the bottom margin, and the left margin. Okay, so those are zero because we're not using those. But uh, the 10 pixels means put some padding in between the video and the text on the right, like this. Okay, and then two means there's some padding down here for the text underneath. Okay. And um, this here, float, this is what does the magic, that's the one, that's the key. So that's saying, float the video to the left of the text. Okay, that's what it's saying. Okay, float, I'll float this whole block to the left of the text. Okay, if you were going to be right, then it would, uh, if I could do this for example, just an example, if you want, to, if I say float right, update that. So now it's doing the margins are a bit screwed up, you know, but because uh, you need some padding and all that kind of stuff. But here now it's it's uh, the the video um, the um, video is being forced to float to the right of the text. Okay, so so that's what you do. Okay, now you have any questions? Just um, comment below, um, and uh, happy to help out. Okay, so. Uh, we got something out of this video and uh, you make it a great day. <laughs>